I might have just invented something amazing. The mousse that is softer in the beginning and harder at the end. I'm at uh, Walmart and looking for uh, something that uh, could replicate mousse, right? So this is a piece of mousse. And then um, looking at these mats, uh, man, they sure feel the same. So you could roll these things out and put in a tire. And some people um, recommended these for me to do it. And I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea, to be very honest with you. I'm kind of like I want to try it for 14 dollars. Well, this is my collapsed moose. As you can see, it has been obliterated. And uh, I made a mistake, and I'm going to show you in this video what not to do so your moose lasts you forever. Or at least for a very long time. I think I got 200 hours out of it before I made this mistake and it just blew itself to pieces. Here's a Hoosier tire. 80 by 100 by 21. So it's 21 this way, it's 80 this way, and it's 100 this way. Now these measurements never really match if you really look at it the right way because every manufacturer seems to have a different kind of a thing. That's why it's so hard to match the mousse. That's why it's so hard to get the mousse right for the tire. Just to give you an idea. Now you can see how much room there is in between the mousse, which also shrunk. This is an older mousse. But look how much room you have between the mousse and the actual uh, tire. So if you put this mousse in there and the rim is gonna, uh, you know, crank it a little bit this much, um, it's not gonna be enough. And here's the mat. So this is the uh, mat that you saw me uh, trying to figure it out in the store. It feels like it has a very, very close consistency. So this might be the best filler material for a front tire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a slice out and I'm gonna hug the mousse that I already have with this thing and that way we will uh, fill up the gap and see how long it lasts. So it looks like the magical size was seven and a half inches. This is a half an inch thick but seven and a half inches we're gonna shove it in there and then we're gonna put the mousse in between so it protects the mousse and then um, fills up the gap and let's see how it's gonna last in time. I'm telling you the material feels very very similar to the mousse, very very similar. What I don't have, I cannot adjust pressure. What I have, 100% reliability. And that's one of the biggest problems that you have with moose. How are you gonna fill up the front when it shrinks, when you change tire sizes? And this might have just fixed that. Hopefully last as good as I think it will. That's a trick with this with this mousse. Once they shrink, you either gotta like buy another one or make two out of two or find some kind of like a filler material. This feels good so far and I wanna see how long it's gonna feel so good. You just gotta see how long it will last because if it's not gonna collapse into itself. That's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna solve the biggest problem that moose people have. Because if you put a moose into a small tire, it will rub against the tire because it doesn't fill up the gap. And if it rubs against the tire, it overheats and it kills itself. So, 
filler material was always a problem and as far as weight and everything this feels very close oh. it will not last by itself I don't know, I gotta go and spend some money on a on a full mattress shove it in the rear tire you know, tell me really fast if it's gonna work or not because the rear tire puts so much energy into it I will destroy it So it's as simple as that, the rear tire. Now I just have to go and buy another full mat, 20 bucks, find a way to roll it, put it in the tire. By the way, this is a, there's a ledge over here in the trail. I know this trail so well. There's a ledge over here in the trail coming soon. It's a tube killer, not a moose necessarily killer, but it's a tube killer. It has these sharp edges, and if you hit it wrong and you're coming at it hot, this one. Yeah, you don't even see it and all of a sudden your bike just jumps from under you. So if you hit that one wrong, you're done. Your tubes are bye-bye. Well, that was good training. Quite a ride, quite a ride. I wish I could find some shade somewhere. Zero, I need a bigger car so I can make more shade. So let's see, how's this mat holding on? Dude, it's still here. This, this still feels good, man. Uh, the tennis ball would have been destroyed by now, 20 something miles, but this, it's keeping the, the thing on the bead. Look, see, it's keeping the, the tire on the bead. I might be on something over here. I might be on something over here, guys. Thanks for watching.